The City of Arlington's annual essay contest winners are with us today, here on Conversations. <laughs> Hi, and welcome to Conversations. Today's show features Cheryl Carpenter from the City of Arlington. She's interviewing winning animal essay students and their teachers. The City of Arlington, in a partnership with Time Warner Communications and the Arlington Star-Telegram, are proud to showcase the winners of a writing competition that focuses on responsible pet ownership. The 2008 Animal Essay Contest was open to Arlington residents in grades 3, 4, 5, and 6. Today, you'll meet some of Arlington's youngest residents who are working to decrease the number of companion animals being surrendered to our shelters. You'll meet the first place winners of the essay contest and some of the teachers who coach them along the way. Later in our program, we'll introduce some special poets with a message about responsible pet ownership and we'll meet Emma Velaire, whose companion animal, Spike, was a victim of animal abuse. And where are they now? We'll go back in time to our very first animal essay competition and we'll see how the essay contest made a difference in the lives of two elementary students who are now young adults. And where are they now? We'll go back in time to our very first animal essay competition and see how the essay contest made a difference in the lives of three elementary students who are now young adults. At this time, we are pleased to go behind the scenes of the Animal Essay Contest and introduce Arlington City Council Member Sherry Capehart and Animal Services Manager Chris Huff. You all are the organizers of this very successful competition. But let's find out, first of all, how did the Animal Essay Competition start? Sherry, can you tell us? Certainly. Back in uh, late 2000, I received a call from Dr. Alan Sachs. And as many people are aware, Dr. Sachs is very much an animal advocate. Mm -hmm. And he suggested that we combine animal advocacy at the elementary level uh, with writing. And he asked if I had any ideas and if I'd be willing to go forward with such a concept. And I was, I was thrilled that he had come up with the idea and said, certainly. And it kind of evolved from there. Great. That was in 2000, 2001? Late 2000. And it's still going strong. Yes. Very good. What is the primary purpose of, of this competition? Well, it's clearly to um, educate the children about the need for res being a responsible pet owner and what that entails and to get them to focus on what, what animals mean in their lives, um, what animals um, are important in our community, and how they feel and interpret animals as a companion, as a member of their family. Okay. Who is this contest for? It's for the Arlington ISD and Kennedale ISD and Mansfield ISD and private schools in our area for the residents of the city of Arlington. Okay. And you have to be in a certain grade level, I understand. Fourth, fifth, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth okay. grade. Let's talk about the quality of the essays we received. We're going to meet some of the winners here in a little bit, but let's mm -hmm. talk about what we received this year. How many essays did we receive? We received 569 essays. Wow. They were all wonderful. Mm -hmm. It was a hard decision by the Arlington um, Animal Services Board. Mm -hmm. uh, the, we had a representative from each school district, okay. Okay. and they uh, participated in the judging process. Okay. And, um, it was a hard task, but we did it because the essays were awesome this year. They were just awesome. How did we determine the winners? What were you looking for? What were our judges looking for in these essays? Well, we looked for creativity. Mm -hmm. um, and we also looked in to see if, as we read through the essays, and in a couple of cases, poems, uh, if, if their feelings really came across with their writing. And as Chris has indicated, uh, they were incredible essays this year. It, it seems as though as the teachers become more familiar with the contest each year, mm -hmm. their instruction maybe to their students is, uh, gives them a little bit more detail. Okay. And you can really tell that by the quality of the essays. Definitely. What are the prizes? 
they uh, can win, first place winners will receive a $500 savings bond, mm -hmm. the second place winners receive a $350 savings bond, and the third place winners will receive a $150 savings bond. I think that's great, that's yeah. fantastic. And uh, let's talk a little bit about our partners. I understand there are many. We have Time Warner who underwrites our contest and has for about the last three years and actually provide us the funds to purchase the savings bonds for the winners. And then uh, the Star Telegram, Arlington Star Telegram, also is very involved and they've put pictures of the winners in mm -hmm. through the paper this year and online they're printing the essays. Mm -hmm. And so we've had a lot of good sponsorship and we also have a lot of just good sponsorship from the school districts. Um, we have, as Chris has said earlier, we have a judge from each one of the school boards and the school districts themselves are becoming more and more uh, promoters of this contest. Great, great. As part of this competition, this program this year, we uh, recognized um, a family mm -hmm. whose animal was a victim of animal abuse. Can you tell us why we chose to take this step this year? Well, um, that particular incident received quite a bit of uh, publicity, uh, a lot of outpouring of compassion from people. Mm -hmm. uh, that family's dog was um, abused and died and uh, as a part of that we wanted to recognize you know the suffering if you will of that family and what and kind of put a face on animal abuse for the people there is um, quite a f bit of information and data available that shows a direct correlation between animal abuse and those people who abuse animals uh, oftentimes grow up to abuse people mm -hmm. and so we're trying to get into schools at an early age and to provide a, a uh, a method, if you will, for intervention. Okay. Cool. Thank you both very much for being with us and talking with us about the competition. And up next, we'll meet some of the winners of the 2008 Animal Essay Competition. Where are they now? How did the essay competition about responsible pet ownership impact the lives of three student winners who are now preparing for college? Join me in welcoming Brianna Quaid, Nani Ushtakala, and Jennifer May, thank you all for being with us today. You all won the essay competition during our very first year of the program in 2001. Brianna, how did the essay competition impact your life? Um, it made me think about being more responsible with pets when I was younger because I probably wasn't that responsible when I was little, but it kind of helped me like realize a few things as I was writing it and thinking about it and able to teach other people in my class because they were kind of interested because they were like, oh my God. Okay. <laughs> Do you remember that day when you won the competition? Um, kind of and kind of not. I remember like with Jennifer when we were talking, when she got called into the principal's office, my principal told me and then some other people talked to me and then a bunch of other people and I still had no idea what was going on, but so. <laughs> Nani, why do you think it's important that we have essay competitions like this? Why is it important to reach our youth? I really just think it's a great lesson for kids that are young to learn about pet ownership and how big of a responsibility it is because it truly is. It's a big deal and if they're not prepared for it then you know they really need to learn about it before they choose to buy a pet. Okay. Are, are you, do you have a pet or does, does your family have a yeah, pet? Yeah, um, I have two, um, a cat and a dog. We actually um, kind of adopted our dog. He was out um, on the streets like when I was in eighth grade and he just wouldn't leave. So we just kind of brought him in and his name's Lucky. Okay. And then we have a cat named Sam. Um, also, my mom went to the vet one day for Lucky and Sam was there and uh, the lady was like, so we have this cat, you know, do, would you like to have a cat? And my mom's mm -hmm. like, okay. So um, <laughs> we didn't actually like go try to find these pets, they found us. Great. I think one of you said that you still have your pet from 2001. Who was that? Rio. Rio. That's Rio is a cat, cat dog. It's a Siberian Husky. Ah, yeah. okay. Do you all consider yourselves to be responsible pet owners uh, today? Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. And how so? What, what are some of the things you do? I always play in with your animals, taking them out, um, giving them food and water and love and everything they need and they give it right back usually except for the food and the water. But <laughs> <laughs> And the U.S. Savings Bonds that you all um, won that year, Still are you putting them to good use? They're still in the bank. They're still in the bank. Yes. Yep. And you all are getting ready to go to college? Absolutely. Yeah. Tell us real quickly, where, where, where will you be attending and uh, what are you studying? For my first two years, I want to go to UTA, kind of stay close. and um, <coughs> I want to become a teacher and quite possibly after that, be a coach. <coughs> okay. Um, I used to want to do stuff with animals, but 
then I just want to make sure, you know, I get a stable one and then do that on the side, so. Great, great. Nani? I'm going to be attending Texas Tech University in the fall, okay. and I'm going to be studying uh, music okay. as a performance major, so. Great choice. <laughs> and Jennifer? Um, I'm at going to be attending Midwestern University in Wichita Falls, okay. and i um, not sure what my major is going to be yet, just going there, and it's a really awesome school. Congratulations, uh, ladies. Best of luck to you, and thank you for being with us today to talk about your experience as an animal essay contest winner in 2001. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Brianna Sprouse is the first place winner in the third grade level category. She's joined today by her teacher, Mrs. Janice Ferguson. Thank you both for being with us. Thank you. Uh, Brianna is a third grader at Blanton Elementary School. And the topic of your essay was? If animals could talk, what would they say? And how did you hear about the essay competition? My teacher told me about it. Okay. You knew what the theme was, you thought about it, and what was the first thing that you wrote? What was the first thing that came to mind? Um, about what animals would eat and what they would want to eat. Okay. And um, you wrote in your essay, Go to your last paragraph for me and read. I, I thought it was just very, very special. Read, read your last paragraph for us. If animals could talk, the ones in the pound would tell us that they are not happy there. They would tell us that they want to go home with loving families to go to. They would ask that all dog pounds be torn and made into parks they can play in. I thought that was beautiful. Do you often go to the shelter? Have you ever been to the Animal, animal Services Center? To get my dog, because okay. um, she ran out of the backyard. Okay, so you went there and you found her being taken care of and safe. Did you happen, happen to see other animals while you were there? I saw other dogs and cats. Okay, and what, what did that make you think about when you saw that? It made me think about how um, they're not happy there and they just want a loving family so they can um, have someone to take care of them. Okay. Do you consider yourself to be a responsible pet owner? Do you take good care of your animal? Yes, I do. Mrs. Ferguson, how did you, uh, what was your role in uh, helping Brianna uh, prepare the, her, her essay? We received the um, pamphlet information and I shared it with all my students. We went over the criteria, the rules and guidelines and this was something that everyone had to do because it's very, very important. Mm -hmm. It helps to create children, future adults to care about our community. So I feel that's very important. Okay, so you encourage them all to enter. All. And all. how many students were there? 21, okay. all 21. Why do you consider writing to be important at this stage in, in their lives? Writing uh, helps to bring out that creativity and that was one of the key words in the um, instructions for this contest. Be creative, mm -hmm. original. And my students know once I say that, I want them to reach back, reach as deep as you can and just whatever comes across your mind just put it down. Okay. Well, this essay was outstanding. You did a beautiful job. Thank you very much, and congratulations. Thank you. Okay. Daniel Kane is the first place winner in the fourth grade category of the essay competition. He's joined today by his teacher, Mrs. Beverly Sullivan. Uh -huh. Daniel is a fourth grader at Sherrod Elementary School. Congratulations on winning the first place prize. The theme was, what feelings do you think animals have? Do you think animals have feelings? Yes. Why do you think that? Um, because um, just like people, since you know that like gorillas are a lot like people because we read a story in class mm -hmm. about, or actually it was on the 2004 tax test, okay. that this lady bought a gorilla and she had taught it some sign language. Wow. So they do have feelings. They can think. Yes. Okay. In your essay, you told us about your parakeet, Bluebell. Tell us a little bit about how you care for your parakeet. What do you do? Um, actually, my mom cleans out her cage. Okay. 
Um, she... Do you help to feed your parakeet? Actually, my mom mainly takes care of her. Okay. But you're there to, be, to mm -hmm. be of support, right? Usually we just talk to them. You just talk. Do you own an animal, such as a dog or a cat? Not a dog or a cat. Okay. All we have is a fish, bird, actually two birds. We bought another one in okay. a place of Limey. Okay. And we also have a hamster. Wow. So you have a lot of animals to care for in your home. Do you consider yourself to be a responsible pet owner? Mm-hmm. Okay. Actually, I clean out the hamster's cage. Oh, I see. That's a lot of work. Because I bought her, and it was like $50 for the cage and her. Okay. Why is it mm -hmm. important that you take good care of the hamster? In case that she doesn't die, okay. and so that she, she's exactly like us, and we need food and shelter and water, too. Exactly, exactly. Mrs. Sullivan, why do you think a program like this is so very important to our youth? Well, I think this program is good, especially for our fourth graders. It helps them to apply their writing skills, mm -hmm. um, just show what they, it just helps with their voice because we really focus on voice and writing, mm -hmm. and it just kind of shows their personality, what good writers they are. Okay, mm -hmm. and this essay did just that. We enjoy reading about how you take care of your, your pet parakeet, and uh, congratulations on being a winner. Dusty Shipley is the first place winner in the fifth grade level category of our essay competition. She's joined today by her teacher, Mrs. Janet Moore. Thank you both for being with us. The essay topic was, uh, what are some ways to make life better for animals in our community? Did you have to think long and hard about that? Not really. I watch a lot of animal shows and take care of my dogs and cats. How many dogs and cats do you have? Two dogs and one cat. Great. Do you consider yourself to be a responsible pet owner? Yes, but my mom has to help me a she lot. She helps you a lot. <laughs> yeah, with two dogs and two cats, you would need a, a little help. Yeah. You started your essay off by stating why we shouldn't adopt an animal. I think you said you shouldn't adopt it if you can't take care of it. Tell us a little bit more about what you wrote in your essay. Um, I wrote, like, if you can't take care of it, don't adopt it. Um, if you can't give it water or food or a place to sleep, you shouldn't um, take, take the animal. Mm -hmm. So in other words, people should think long and hard about mm -hmm. making that decision. And why do you say that? Because an animal is a living thing and it needs, a pla it needs to be safe and feel safe where it lives. Okay, great, great. Your teacher coached you along the way. Can you tell us about your role in this winning essay, what did, how did you inspire the students in your class? I didn't have a lot to do with her essay. She's, she's just very self-motivated, mm -hmm. enjoys writing, loves animals like she said. She loves the outdoors and okay. she's just self-motivated and does a lot of extra writing on her own. Okay. What is the one message that you would like our viewers to, to, to learn from your essay? Um, take care of your animals and don't, let, don't get, let them get sick if you can help it. Okay, wonderful. Thank you very much and congratulations on winning our competition. Thank you for okay. having me. Cami Stockett is the first place winner in the sixth grade category of our essay competition. She's joined today by her teacher, Mrs. Susie Davenport. Congratulations, Cami, on being our first place winner. Thank you. The theme was? How do animals benefit us in our daily lives? Okay, and what were some of the examples that you cited in your winning exam? Um, I started off by going back in the old days when horses um, used, they carried and pulled covered wagons, mm -hmm. and then how the horses, or how dogs, they, um, like, when a kid or an adult needed help carrying something, they might have pulled it for them. Mm -hmm. um, I used rescue dogs okay. that um, police use sometimes and also firefighters. Okay. I also did use firefighter dogs, how they go into a burning building. Mm -hmm. um, I used seeing eye dogs, how they can help a person when they can't see. Okay. And then just a dog who, or any animal, who helps a person when they need love or care. The one thing all of these animals have in common is that they need someone to care for them. Is that yes. correct? Okay. Yes. And why is that so important? Because an animal always needs someone to care for them because um, everyone needs some love in their life and 
So dogs are just like people in the same way they need love and care and that's just a really important thing to have. It makes you feel good. Do you consider yourself to be a responsible pet owner? Yes, I do. And you have? I have a white cat. Okay, that needs care and love? Yes, okay. she does. Your teacher today is uh, Susan Davenport and she's here. Can you talk briefly about the importance of developing the writing skills of our students? I, I think writing is so important because you uh, it helps you verbally, it helps you to communicate with others, it allows you to uh, write your feelings, okay. you know, mm -hmm. write, uh, get more out of the story than just talking. Okay. And do you think the topic was appropriate? The oh, animals. Yeah. Why, why the animal, the love for um, animals? Well, number one, Cammie is a great writer. Mm -hmm. I've read several of her stories and uh, they're always very, very good. Okay. And um, um, the animal topic was just, Cammie's very caring. And she's always concerned about others. Mm -hmm. And uh, she's very knowledgeable on relationships and uh, she's just a great kid so that came through writing about animals and the caring for her. Okay. Do you have any plans to maybe continue on and become a writer or? Um, yes, actually I do. Um, ever since I was little I've wanted to become a journalist or an author. Good. Um, that's always been my dream and I love to read books okay. and I have plenty of those at my house. And so, yes, I do want to, in the future, become an author, a journalist. All right. Well, our best wishes to you. Good luck and congratulations on winning your first essay competition. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How do animals benefit us in our daily lives? Two sixth graders submitted poems and are recognized as part of this year's competition. Meet Gracie Howie and Charlotte Settle. They're joined today by their teacher, Mrs. Susan Crozier. Thank you very much for being with us today. Th this is the first time we've ever recognized and even had submissions of a poem. So thank you very much for submitting some really, really fine work. Can you tell me who inspired you to write your poem? Well, um, it was a school assignment, but it made me start thinking about how like Hurricane Katrina and animals that got hurt and like how I wanted to make a difference. Okay, great, great. And your inspiration behind your poem? Like Gracie said, it was a school assignment, but I love animals and it breaks my heart for them to get hurt. You have your poems with you, so um, Gracie, why don't you read your poem for us? Okay. How do animals benefit us in our daily lives? Animals like us have feelings in a heart. It must be so sad when they have to be apart. Their senses of storms coming our way they try to warn us, but they can't say. Why do these poor pets have to be put down? They always come to save us. They hear every sound. No one in the world can be a better friend than they, and some just think are dying today. You're the ones to stop this. I would if I could. You know it would be right that everyone should. The sadness in their hearts, think how happy they could be, and just think it's all up to you and me. So help out a pet and give the right amount, because if it weren't for animals, nothing would count. Beautiful. And just a footnote, uh, both poems, I understand, will be on display in the new Animal Services Center, which opens later this summer, actually early this summer. So congratulations, both la ladies. May we hear your poem, please? Yes. How do animals benefit us in our daily lives? Animals help our lives every day, so listen because I've got a lot to say. If you're lonely, animals provide you with a friend, and if you're in danger, they will help you fight and defend. Just think of those poor dogs that are being abused, and imagine how you would feel if you were being used. Trained dogs can help the blind, and they will never leave you behind. They can warn you when natural disasters come. They will help protect you and save your home. They have a great sense of hearing and smell, and they can sense things that you could never tell. Animals are great things to love and adore, so go the extra mile and care a little more. I think that's beautiful. Thank you very much. And to the teacher, do you think these poems uh, may have inspired or encouraged other students in your class to be responsible pet owners? Definitely. I think that they both, you can tell from their poetry that they speak from their heart. Okay. And I think that kids who don't have pets at home or, you know, are wanting to, wanting to go and adopt, and, and I think they did a really good job. We're proud of them. Yes, they did. For what I understand, 
Both poems will be on display in the new Animal Services Center, which opens in the early summer of 2008. And ladies, we understand that uh, at Duff Elementary School, you all have an animal success story to share with us. Who wants to tell us what happened? Well, one day on the playground, we found a small white puppy that was very dirty and looked like it hadn't been fed for a while. Well, everyone, no one really knew what to do, so one of our friends named Rachel, she, her mom, like, takes in dogs that are hurt and abused, mm -hmm. and she called her mom, and her mom came up to the school, and she took it home with her. Wow, so you all saved an animal right yes. there on the campus, we which knew, led to... We, did, we knew that if we sent it to, and I explained to the kids, that if we sent it and there wasn't somebody to adopt this animal. We talked about some of the things that that happen for pets that are not adopted and it was sad and so it kind of led us into and so Rachel's mother took it home and cleaned it, bathed it, gave it, you a know, shaved home. it mm -hmm. and found a home for it and so we were very, we were happy about that. So we kind of kept tabs on the, we named it Halloween because it was around Halloween time. It was on Halloween actually and that yeah. led us into this essay contest because we realized the importance of each one of us has taking care of these animals. So, What a good, happy ending. Very good. Congratulations, ladies, for doing what was right. Okay? Thank you very much. Thank you Thank for you. having Thank us. Thank you. Spike was a Pomeranian companion animal who died on January 12, 2008, a victim of animal cruelty in our community. Emma was his owner. She's joined today by her mom, Liz, and her brother, Jet, and they have a new dog, Henry. Emma, tell us uh, how you go about caring for your new dog, Henry. We feed him when their food runs out and play with him. Okay. You are a student at D.P. Morris Elementary School. Are there other students in your class who have pets and, and animals? And do they care? Are they responsible pet owners? Yes. Okay. Liz, um, your animal was a, a, a victim of abuse. Why is it important that we take care of our animals and that we report abuse in our community? Um, animals have rights just like people and I think animals are parts of uh, your family. I mean, they, Spike was a part of our family. He was like one of our children and people love him just like they are your children and it's, it's terrible what they did to Spike and what any cruelty to any animal is, so it should be reported if you see anything like that. Uh, anything like that should be reported. Okay, do you think that's a growing concern just throughout our, our nation or? Yeah, I, I think it is, and I think that anybody that could do something like that to an animal could do something worse mm -hmm. later on down the line. Okay. Uh, the mayor and city council issued a proclamation this month proclaiming March 4th as Spike Valair Day in memory of Spike and the need for more public awareness about animal abuse. Do you think that's a good start for us? I think it is. I okay. think it is. I think it's a great start. Okay. And Emma, how much you love your new dog, Henry? I like him a lot because I get to play with him a lot mm -hmm. and I have to play rough with the big dogs and play with soft with Henry. Okay. Very good. Thank you all for being with us today. And to report animal abuse in our city, call 911 or the Arlington Animal Services Center. Thanks, Cheryl, and congratulations to all of our winning students. I'm Jeannie Pichelli, and I hope you will visit us again right here on Conversations.
the City of Arlington, in a partnership with Time Warner Communications and the Arlington Star-Telegram, are proud to showcase the winners of a writing competition that focuses on responsible pet ownership. The 2008 Animal Essay Contest was open to Arlington residents in grades 3, 4, 5, and 6. Today, you'll meet some of Arlington's youngest residents who are working to decrease the number of companion animals being surrendered to our shelters. You'll meet the first place winners of the essay contest and some of the teachers who coach them along the way. Later in our program, we'll introduce some special poets with a message about responsible pet ownership and we'll meet Emma Velaire, whose companion animal, Spike, was a victim of animal abuse. And where are they now? We'll go back in time to our very first animal essay competition and we'll see how the essay contest made a difference in the lives of two elementary students who are now young adults. And where are they now? We'll go back in time to our very first animal essay competition and see how the essay contest made a difference in the lives of three elementary students who are now young adults. At this time, we are pleased to go behind the scenes of the animal essay contest and introduce Arlington City Council member Sherry Capehart and Animal Services Manager Chris Huff. You all are the organizers of this very successful competition. But let's find out, first of all, how did the animal essay competition start? Sherry, can you tell us? Certainly. Back in uh, late 2000, I received a call from Dr. Alan Sachs. And as many people are aware, Dr. Sachs is very much an animal advocate. Mm -hmm. And he suggested that we combine animal advocacy at the elementary level uh, with writing. And he asked if I had any ideas and if I'd be willing to go forward with such a concept. And I was, I was thrilled that he had come up with the idea and said, certainly. And it kind of evolved from there. Great. That was in 2000, 2001? Late 2000. And it's still going strong. Yes. Very good. What is the primary purpose of, of this competition? Well, it's clearly to um, educate the children about the need for res being a responsible pet owner and what that entails and to get them to focus on what, what animals mean in their lives, um, what animals um, are important in our community, and how they feel and interpret animals as a companion, as a member of their family. Okay. Who is this contest for? It's for the Arlington ISD and Kennedale ISD and Mansfield ISD and private schools in our area for the residents of the city of Arlington. Okay, and you have to be in a certain grade level, I understand. Fourth, fifth, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth okay. grade. Let's talk about the quality of the essays we received. We're going to meet some of the winners here in a little bit, but let's mm -hmm. talk about what we received this year. How many essays did we receive? We, we received 569 essays. Wow. They were all wonderful. Mm -hmm. It was a hard decision by the Arlington um, Animal Services Board. Mm -hmm. uh, the, we had a representative from each school district, okay. Okay. and they uh, participated in the judging process. Okay. And um, it was a hard task, but we did it because the essays were awesome this year. They were just awesome. How did we determine the winners? What were you looking for? What were our judges looking for in these essays? Well, we looked for creativity. Mm -hmm. um, and we also looked in to see if, as we read through the essays, and in a couple of cases, poems, uh, if, if their feelings really came across with their writing. And as Chris has indicated, uh, they were incredible essays this year. It, it seems as though, as the teachers become more familiar with the contest each year, mm -hmm. their instruction maybe to their students is, uh, gives them a little bit more detail. Okay. And you can really tell that by the quality of the essays. Definitely. What are the prizes? They uh, can win, first place winners will receive a $500 savings bond. Mm -hmm. The second place winners receive a $350 savings bond. And the third place winners will receive a $150 savings bond. I think that's great, that's yeah. fantastic. And uh, let's talk a little bit about our partners. I understand there are many. We have Time Warner who underwrites our contest and has for about the last three years and actually provide us the funds to purchase the savings bonds for the winners. And then uh, the Star Telegram, Arlington Star Telegram, also is very involved and they've put pictures of the winners in mm -hmm. through the paper this year and online they're printing the essays. Mm -hmm. And so we've had a lot of good sponsorship and we also have a lot of just good sponsorship from the school districts. Um, we have, as Chris has said earlier, we have a judge 
from each one of the school boards, and the school districts themselves are becoming more and more uh, promoters of this contest. Great, great. As part of this competition, this program this year, we uh, recognized um, a family mm -hmm. whose animal was a victim of animal abuse. Can you tell us why we chose to take this step this year? Well, um, that particular incident received quite a bit of uh, publicity, uh, a lot of outpouring of compassion from people. Mm -hmm. uh, that family's dog was um, abused and died. And uh, as a part of that, we wanted to recognize you know, the suffering, if you will, of that family and what, and kind of put a face on animal abuse for the people. There is um, quite a f bit of information and data available that shows a direct correlation between animal abuse and those people who abuse animals uh, oftentimes grow up to abuse people. Mm -hmm. And so we're trying to get into schools at an early age and to provide a, a, a method, if you will, for intervention. Okay. Thank you both very much for being with us and talking with us about the competition. And up next, we'll meet some of the winners of the 2008 Animal Essay Competition. Where are they now? How did the essay competition about responsible pet ownership 